If you want cheap games and codes, then visit cdkeys.com. They have a whole range of deals on a whole load of products. Use the affiliate link in the description to visit the website. Hello everyone and welcome back to another PES 2019 feature with me, Bromo18. Now today is actually a double upload day. I already had a video scheduled to come out later on tonight. Uh, but then I woke up this morning and to my surprise, I found an announcement from Konami on my Twitter feed. Uh, and it was that Data Pack 2.0 is officially coming 25th of October. That's a week from today if you are watching this on uh, release day uh, but yeah that'll be Thursday the 25th of October and bringing with it the likes of the Chinese Super League officially licensed as is the Thai League uh, the Stade Louis de AS Monaco Stadium finally uh, being released into the game uh, along with a load of gameplay improvements now if we go on to the announcement here um, they really break it down uh, a whole lot more there'll be there will be officially licensed the two leagues or the clubs and logos, etc. Uh, will be in the game. Um, along with Stade Louis Dirt, of course. And then with the gameplay updates, you know, you've got uh, what a lot of people have been complaining about, the AI performance. Apparently, uh, they state here that they have fixed that. We shall see uh, in the day's pack update. You can't say too much uh, until we have actually experienced it for ourselves. Um and on top of that, we've got more variation in the uh, AI opponent's attacking style of play uh, and a better goalkeeper AI as well. They're also claiming that there'll, there'll be increased accuracy uh, of chip shots, improved headers and defender positioning. Now, any of you watching my Rangers Master League series will know that defensive positioning issue has been a real problem. Hopefully, hopefully, they have fixed it and it won't be so much of a problem. Uh, and then after that, you know, we've got various updates to, uh, you know, player equipment, boots, etc. Um, not not too much. They claim there's also over 100 updated player faces. They haven't stated which ones these are. So we are still in the dark about that. Could they be uh, the likes of Rangers and Celtic that we have uh, alluded to in, in previous videos? We don't know. We'll wait and see. They're keeping hush on that, which mm, slightly worries me. Uh, but apart from that... Um, well, you know, we'll focus on the positives first. This is good. All, you know, added leagues and stuff, improvements to gameplay, hopefully, etc. New stadium. That's all positive stuff. You know, Chinese Super League. Um, I think there'll be a lot of interest in that. Uh, a lot of people play. Don't forget, they've got the uh, Asian Champions League officially licensed. So that will give you the opportunity to qualify for that in the Chinese Super League um, and also in the Thai League as well, should you choose to play that. Um, which will give it greater depth. That will give it uh, a boost on its competition in FIFA because in FIFA they, of course, don't have the Asian Champions League license. They have a small, unlicensed Asian Champions League uh, with about you know five nations, about eight teams possibly, or or 60, 12 teams maybe. Um, can't quite remember now, but yeah, they have an unlicensed version. In this, however, you can take that one step further. Uh, so that's all good. Again, the stadium, it's its all good. More player faces, that's what we want. We want the positivity. Um, we just want constant improvements, you know. So, yeah, that's pleasing to see. On the other hand, um, one thing that really has frustrated me uh, is that, listen, I've, I've covered a lot of PES 2019 videos. I've done a lot in the past, you know, couple of months or so. Uh, in that time, I've done a whole lot of research on PES 2019, you know, I've had a whole lot of feedback from people, from you guys, uh, on my videos. Uh, not once, I assure you, not once have I came across someone who requested the Thai League to be added into PES. However, I constantly see every day people asking, when is Ibrox and Celtic Park in the game? When is Ibrox and Celtic Park in the game? Ibrox and Celtic Park, announce it. it. You know, it's priorities. I mean... People weren't asking for the Thai League. People were asking for Ibrox and Celtic Park. You know, prioritise. I don't really think you have as much of an excuse um, for this delayed release of these stadiums when uh, you've clearly spent some time implementing the logos and the you know the, the kits etc. and the badges for things like the Thai League. Uh, you know, when you still got to in include uh, and implement 
uh, Ibrox Stadium and Celtic Park. I mean, come on. There's simple sort of man management here, you know, and uh, that sort of thing really frustrated me. And I know it's going to have frustrated people, other people as well. I mean, look at this, like the top light coming, and as you can see, I liked it myself. Uh, is about someone asking, you know, where, where are these stadiums? Um, and we have literally no, you know, direction now. Uh, you'd have seen my recent video, or you may have seen my recent video, where I talked about a potential release date. That was actually released yesterday, um, as of the date of recording this. And, uh, you know, we were speculating whether Ibrox and Celtic Park would come by the end of the month. At the moment, it doesn't look to be the case. I mean, they've sort of missed out on it. These were even more recommended than the Stade Louis de uh, Monaco Stadium, and yet we still can't see them. And it's it's really um, it's just a real real letdown, and that's a real negative. And it's a shame there are negatives in this. I think if they'd have added those two stadiums into this announcement, this would have been a real bumper announcement. A lot of people would have been really hyped, myself included. Um, but it's. It's put a damper on it, I'm afraid, uh, for me, and it's a real shame. Where do we go from here? There, um, you just feel like I mean, I've spoke to some of you guys on the uh, comment section on my videos, and um, the general consensus they're just sort of letting these two clubs down. You know, these are two massive clubs. Whatever people say, these are two massive clubs in Rangers and Celtic, and they need to make the most of these partnerships because it's not going to last forever. Because I assure you, EA will see the uh, attention that these two teams bring uh, to this game and the amount of people that have brought it on the back of those partnership announcements uh, and they will pick up on it and they will do something about it, I assure you. When there is you know, this sort of uh, talk of, uh, I guess, advertising and money on the line, they'll do something about it. So they, they have limited time, uh, in my opinion, to act upon this and they're just really letting the clubs down. Really letting the clubs down, and it's a real shame. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're still in the dark. We're still in the dark about these, these, uh, these two stadiums. But nevertheless, I'll keep you guys updated anyway. Uh, still looking forward to playing in in Monaco Stadium. Hopefully, these gameplay improvements um, have solved the issues. Uh, I'm not quite holding my breath there yet. Uh, we will wait and see. It's a shame it's taken two months for them to be released, uh, but nevertheless, we'll um, hopefully they're they're here now, uh, and we'll also see what the player faces updated are as well. I'll update you guys on that if and when I can. Uh, and on that note, guys, I'm gonna round it off there. Don't be, uh, don't forget to uh, look out for that video that I'm about to upload later. Or if you're watching this into the future, then check that out. I'm, I imagine I'll leave a card somewhere in this video. Uh, and until next time guys don't forget to leave and leave a like on the video even and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more regular gaming content and on that note i've been brian 18 and i'll see you next time